are here at Disney Springs and we are going to be eating at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Excuse me, mister. Do I know you? Uh, no. <laughs> Wrong table. Wrong table. Here's the bar area. And we have a booth. We're just looking over the menu now. It's loading for me. It's kind of hard to show the menu on the phone, but there's to give you an idea of some of the starters. Um, fried, or uh, salads, sides. Obviously, they are known for their fried chicken. So our waiter recommended the um, fried chicken and donut. And then they're also known for that hummingbird cake as well. So, I don't know, we're gonna have to just... It all, it all looks really good. This is really random, but they don't have plastic straws on Disney property, so a lot of places have paper straws, which kind of get soggy. Um, here at Homecoming, they have these straws that are made out of agave, is what our waiter said. They literally have like the same consistency as plastic. They don't taste funny or anything. I don't know. I just think these are so cool. That is cool. These straws are cool, and they're safe for the environment. Okay, birthday boy, tell us about your cold beer. So this is the Yingling, that's what it's called. It's, uh, it's from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, brewing company. It's an American amber lager. It's really good, it tastes, uh, it's, it has like kind of a darker color to it, but it tastes, um, you know, really light. And in the summer and the heat like this, it's a pretty good, uh, uh, refreshment. Yeah, it has like a smooth finish. Yeah, it's good. Oh boy, we just got our meals. Um, this is the shrimp and grits. This is the fried chicken and donuts and mashed potatoes. So what is on this? The shrimp and grits, it's pan seared shrimp with t a tomato gravy um, and tasso ham served over creamy Bradley's grits. And they look really good. Um, a lot of good sized portions too, obviously. <laughs> Wow. The, uh, and then this one, the, the waiter recommended, and they're they're obviously known for their fried chicken, but uh, two big pieces of fried chicken, and then that's donuts. So this and is that like one syrup their, is yeah, homemade maple syrup. One of their signature dishes, and then uh, one of the sides is the uh, creamy mashed potato. So it'll be really good. This meal is absolutely incredible. Um, the tomato gravy has bits of ham in it, which are so delicious. The shrimp is good. The grits are nice and cheesy. One of my favorite parts is actually the cinnamon sugar donut and maple syrup, and then dipping the fried chicken in the syrup is so good. The creamy mashed potatoes are good. Um, this is like, the perfect southern meal. Everything is spot on. Um, I'm, I'm honestly getting so full, but I, I don't want to stop eating because it's so good. And Corey has a fun fact about the chicken. They uh, they did the the, ba the batter brine for 24 hours before they deep fry it. The chicken's great. Wow. Cooked really well. The breading is super good, really crispy. The syrup's awesome to pour on it, and then the donuts are amazing. Yeah, uh, and every yeah everything is it's all really paired good. really well. Yeah. Okay, once again the service is just incredible. Um, we were stuffed to the brim, and we were telling our waiter that the hummingbird cake looked so tempting, but we couldn't. We, we were so stuffed we couldn't do dessert. But because it's Corey's birthday, he brought out a small slice so we could at least taste it. 
It looks absolutely delicious and yeah. how nice of really, that. Really nice of them because the actual cake, he said it's like really tall. He said it's like a small big. building. Um, so we weren't going to do that obviously. That was really, really nice. Yeah. For being stuffed, we literally just scarfed this down in like less than a minute. <laughs> Super good. This is pineapple banana cake with cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect amount of sweet. Yeah. It's not overpowering. Um, right. Like with sweet, it's delicious. Absolutely would recommend this. Chef um, Art Smith is an award-winning chef, and I just thought that this, some of these pictures were, were really neat. Um, Polynesian in 1972, the glare is kind of hard. The Disney College program in 1982, chef with his mom and some fried chicken. His seventh birthday. I just thought this was really neat. modern day so that's what he looks like today thank you guys for watching we had an awesome dinner at homecoming um, we're stuffed and we're gonna walk around Disney Springs a little bit more and then call it a day